Right, hi everyone, here I am again at Form Next. You know that, you've seen multiple videos. Who are you, what do you do? Uh, my name is Sean, and I'm the product marketing manager here at Bamboo Lab. And welcome to the Bamboo Lab booth. Thank you, so what is it you're showing off here at the show? What's, what should people be excited about? Uh, obviously, the biggest star right here at Bamboo Lab booth is the newly released S2C, uh, which is the flagship model we offer right now. So that is your biggest, grandest, all bells and whistles, everything printer. Yeah, yes, you're right. Brilliant. Why is it the smallest of the H2 series? Ah, <laughs> good question. So, um, since we put in the Vortex system, and yep. it occupies some space, but not much, about 20 millimeter in X space. Yeah. So, it is the smallest in the H2 series, unfortunately, but... But yeah. I get it, it's draw, but I mean, I've, I've, you know me, like, I talked your ear off for about an hour about this last night, yeah. and then, uh, and then, like, more on my channel, I'm constantly going on about it to the point my own audience is sick about it. But yeah, it's about fitting, you've got a lot of tech inside these printers. So we've got like, obviously the S, that allows us the biggest area for a single nozzle. We've got the D, dual nozzle, but obviously you've only got so so much on either side and you wanted to maximize that. And then the C, with the Vortex system on the side, obviously you need space to put that Vortex system in. And yes, I'm, I'm hearing people, there's only so big you can make it before the storage and shipping of these products becomes three yeah. times bigger. So yeah, the yeah. Dash 2 series, I mean, the, the, the whole, the total volume of the machine is right at the limit of the shipping cost the limit of the shipping yeah. standard, some sort of like that. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes complete and total sense. And I do get it, I do get it. I'm just very much a, I don't care, you're the engineers, you fix it. Yeah. But no, in all seriousness, like they absolute technical marvel, like watching the Vortex system in action, actually moving, it's mesmerizing in a similar way to how like a Delta just looks impressive. It is really nice to see that. I'm looking forward to getting hands on with one and actually seeing what it's like in person. I already know of all the printers that are on the market, it will be my personal choice. But that's because I try and say to people a lot of the time, there are so many printers out there, choose the one that's right for you. And I've never been shy about how much I love bamboo. And I'll choose a bamboo printer because of your ecosystem. And again, we talked about this, like make a world and all the things beyond it and that sort of thing. What is it for you? Why do you think bamboo stands out as a brand among all the other brands? What is the key thing that makes bamboo bamboo? I think um, one of the very key uh, elements our brand is doing well is the rigorous testing before we actually release the products because we have very high standard of reliability and also we have fairly high standard of usability and also the ease of other function uh, as uh, the ease of use and also to refine the function to be no bug and I, I mean that there is bug but we, we are constantly revising it even for our oldest machine, the X1C, we have roughly a three months or four months interval of firmware updating. So that's, I think, that's the fastest among the industry. Yeah, I mean, that's your earliest yeah. machine, isn't it? And you're yeah. still supporting that now. Yeah. So these new machines don't eradicate the old ones. We're not, because the P2S exists, yeah. you're not abandoning the P1S. Yes, yes. As long as we feel it's, uh, reasonable or we feel is necessary to have a firmware update. Either it's for feature or for safety. Yeah. We have to do it. Yeah, of like course. That, 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 that's our uh, attitude yeah. to our product. I think one of the things we talked about for a long time last night and what I really liked about you and more than anything, I just want to get this on camera. Um, me and uh, my friend, we talked with James from Rising Ape, um, again, friend of mine, absolutely love the guy. And we talked for a while about all the different brands we've talked to and what your attitude is towards us. And I think you are the first people I've said thank you to at the end of a discussion, because I've got to be honest, we've spoke to a lot of brands and they've asked us for feedback. They've said, what do you think about the machines? Why aren't we selling the machines and things like that? You're the only brand that asked us, what do we feel the customers think, the people who are using our machines? And when we gave reasons to other brands, uh, and not all of them, but the majority, immediately jumped on the defensive, started making excuses. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. 
and we gave you guys feedback and I've got to say I love the fact that you listened and you you went yep fair enough that's right and doing that and I think that's really important for the maturity of a company such as yours because you do actually stand there and go yep okay fair point in some cases there's nothing we can do about that in the current model but it's nice to know that that goes up there on on a whiteboard to go okay we've got to make sure we don't do that next time which is fantastic yes yes we, we are a company that learn from a mistake actually. yeah from the early days we write down like there is no best cleaner in our lineup yeah and we learn something that actually we can make a very good fast winner and we just do it yeah like we are not that stubborn we are very open to the opportunity we are very open to the, the people pointing out what what is the weakness of products and it's fine i think yeah just refine it and make the next bamboo better Fair, yeah well speaking of the next bamboo so you've got a few ranges you've got a h range a p range an a range you've got an x range now you've refreshed a lot of those but there's one remaining so will will yeah, we one. will that's we be seeing will do you think we'll see a refresh of that range at any point in the future can i bully you into info about that one yeah you see there are all the second generation of bamboo they are already released there's only one left okay so like people know what's gonna happen right? <laughs> yeah but can you tell me when uh no <laughs> won't be soon enough yeah. won't be soon enough it won't yeah. be it's not today so it's never no. soon yeah, enough so today. no but that's really really good one thing i've I said to you again like uh, yesterday when we talked so a few things i want to see um from bamboo um obviously you've got lasers now in the in the h2d range yeah. uh, which is fantastic i wish that had come to the p range and the x range now i know a lot of people don't love these but I like lasers, I like the versatility. At the very least, the, the plotter and the cutter, it'd be nice to see that, but I would love to see you do a, a dedicated laser, like not a printer, just a laser, because your software is so good. But the thing I really wanna see from you, and, and I think I already know the answer to this, is, and again, because it's my channel, will, do you think we'll ever see a bamboo resin printer? No. <laughs> not anytime soon. It's yeah. not it's not something you're looking yeah, at. Not something I we, we are currently looking at. Fair but, enough. But I mean I mean we actually we note down your suggest to be having a standalone laser. We are actually you know like we already have a laser. We definitely consider into this but Ooh. but things you know X2 is a very formidable competitor. I yeah, think, I think we are, we are still debating on how. We are. Well, I, I, you, you're right. Like there is competition in the market. Certainly, there, there's a top dog when it comes to lasers. But um, of all the lasers I've used, I think it comes down to usability, especially as more of these things get into the home environment. And what Bamboo did, and I've said this, the reason why you have been so successful is less to do with the hardware you've put out. The hardware is great and the reliability is great, but it's kind of what companies like DJI have done and made it made it good enough quality, but then made it usable, made it accessible. Yeah. And whilst I'll say what I think, when it comes to lasers, you're the only ones already on the market with your infant software. Um, it, it needs to mature, I've said this, but you're the only one already who even comes close to rivaling Xtool. So I would love to see some dedication in that space. But um, yeah, you- you I will uh, definitely transfer this uh, comments to the development team. I'm sure many people will be angry out there going, no, don't do that, just focus on printers. But I don't think, folk, I don't think doing one directly impacts the other. But it's nice to see what you've got on here. I love it. Um, it's good to have confirmation that the X1 may be coming soon. Well, actually, X, X series is the beginning of the company. Yes. And it's a very important series in our product line. So we're definitely gonna, not gonna do it. No, no, that's yeah. fine. We've got to get, you've got to get it right, haven't yeah. you? So, and we finally asked the question about a bamboo resin printer. No. <laughs> no, no, that's a hard no. Yeah, 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 no, that's absolutely fine. But uh, again, I'd, I'd like to see lasers without confirming anything. I'd like to see dedicated laser machines from okay, you. Well, so uh, it's exciting. Certainly is the, noted. 
Is there anything is there anything exciting I can take away from you? Like what 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 should people be excited for next? What what why should they keep following bamboo? Yeah, so I think next year there will be a lot of um, new I still there there'll be a lot of new product from bamboo. Ooh. And but I mean maybe something that is making the ecosystem of bamboo more more all around it, I think. Okay, so some yeah, something new something that we make the printing experience better. Oh, okay. So, so something the, new that we haven't considered before, maybe. Yes, maybe okay. Yeah. All right, as soon as that camera's turned off, I'm going to ask you what that is. <laughs> Look, I want to say thank you ever so much, John. It has been yeah, an absolute nice pleasure. I, again, a big fan. I'm, I'm going to go get a bamboo tattoo across my chest. Everyone knows I love your brand, but uh, keep doing what you do. Keep making things easy and great for us. Uh, and we'll see you again here next time with a whole new range of exciting products. Yeah. Thanks again, man. Thanks thank again. you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I want to thank you for watching with a huge thanks going out to our members who are on screen now. Please consider joining them to support the channel, get your name up in lights here, early access and more. Until next time, Fohammer out.